Okay, let's find some derivatives using something called the power rule. It's kind of simple and a lot better than using the difference quotient, especially when you're trying to find the derivative of something big like this. You take that power of 4 and you multiply it by the leading coefficient 7, and that will give you a 28. Now, the x comes down, but to what power? The power rule breaks that 4 down by one level. So 4 minus 1, that equals 3. So it's going to be 28x to the third power. Let's keep going. Take that power of 3, and you multiply it by the leading coefficient 2. And that's going to give you a 6. X to what power again? Well, 3 gets broken down by the power rule to 2. Because you subtract 1. And 3 minus 1 will give you 2. So 6x squared. Use the power rule again. 2 times 5, that's going to give me 10. x to what power? The first power this time. Because 2 minus 1, lo and behold, that equals 1. Now there's a hidden 1 up there above that x. So using the power rule, 1 times 7, and that's going to give me 7. x to what power though? zero because one minus one is zero hang on now x to the zero equals one and since one is x to the zero I can technically put an x to the zero behind that 729 and using the power rule zero times 729 goes to zero I just found the derivative of that big long polynomial. Now I'm going to spruce it up a little. The derivative dy dx equals 28x cubed plus 6x squared plus 10x plus 7. You don't need all that fancy stuff at the end. 